What's up guys, Gary Castle here. Look, today we're gonna go over something that's been bothering me big time. I hate when I get an email or a business card or any kind of marketing material from a business professional, an owner, anybody that's working for a company or trying to come off as professional. <clears throat> but at the bottom of the card, it says yada 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 at gmail.com. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you through the steps. It's gonna cost you 12 bucks and take you five minutes to set that email address up with a new custom domain to where you can use it as an alias. So you can receive mail through this and you can send mail through this all set up through your current Gmail so you don't skip a beat with you know, setting up a new email address or having to get that new email address out there and stuff, you're still going to send and receive from the same account, but now you can make your new business cards with the real web address. Okay, let's jump right in. Okay, here we are inside Google Domains. Now, up here you can go to Manage My Domains or you can find a domain. You will search for your domain here to see if it's available, so you type in whatever you want to type in. I've already purchased a domain, but you know, you can type in uh, Gary Castle. Let's try that. And it'll pop up that unavailable because I already own that. That's the one we're going to use, but that's how you search for them. Now, if you wanted to do GaryCastle.co or whatever, um, there's a million different tags down here and variations that it may work for you uh, for your business name or whatever. So just make sure you get your domain name. So anyways, we're gonna go back and I'm gonna to go to manage my domains and I'm going to enter my garycastle.com domain, which is right here. And I'm going to go to email. Now here we are inside garycastle.com's email setup. So this is how you set up your custom email addresses. You are gonna put, put your, uh, your tagline here. So I would put Gary at garycastle.com right so here's the here's the domain name so it's gonna be Gary at GaryCastle.com you can put your name or you can put info here um, you can put this wild card if you put the little asterisk or whatever that is in here uh, basically anything that's written to at GaryCastle.com will forward to this email that we put in here um, and here I'm going to put photo Gary K at gmail.com this is my old email address that we're going to be using for this tutorial. All we got to do is set that up to add. Now this is going to forward. Anybody that emails Gary at GaryCastle.com is going to forward to photogaryk at gmail.com. That is the first step. Okay, here we are inside the email that I'm going to set up. You can see up here, photogaryk at gmail.com. First thing we're going to do, you got to click on your uh, icon up here. And then you open up your Google account right here. Now you're going to bring it to this screen and you're going to click sign in and security right here. Next thing you want to do, scroll down and you're going to want to double check that two step verification is turned to on. Um, next thing you want to do is you go down here to app passwords, click the arrow, you go down here, select app. We're going to be dealing in the mail app here. So Gmail, you want to click mail. Now we're going to select device. Now this is going to be whatever device you're working on at the time, whether it be your phone, uh, your iPad, or your a Windows computer, or whatever. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to pick Mac. And now, generate. Boom. Here's your password. This password, we are going to keep this available because we're going to be needing this later. So keep this tab open, and we are going to go back over to here. So now, here we go. see you can see that my app password was created on here um, and the next thing we're going to want to do is back in photo uh, Gary K at gmail.com or whatever your your gmail is that you're setting up we're going to go into the cog here and then we're going to go to settings click on that next thing we're going to do is go to accounts and import over here now you're going to see right down here you're going to say send mail as Send mail as is the tab we want to be working in. And the first thing we're going to do is add another email address. And then this window should open up. Now, this is the confusing part. And I'm going to make sure I go through this part very slowly. 
the name here at the top. This is going to be the name associated with your current Gmail address. So if you go here to send mail as, it's gonna say the email address here, but it's gonna say the name running it right here. So my name is Gary Castle. I will be putting this top part as Gary Castle. Okay, not the email address, it's the owner of the account. Okay, next thing, this email address right here, you can see this is a clue, treat as an alias. So this is gonna be your new email address that we're setting up. Gary Castle, or Gary at GaryCastle.com. Copy that, so Command C. We're gonna go back over to here, and we're going to paste that into there. Boom, next step. All right, now, this part right here, this is tough. When you click to this screen, the SMTP server is going to be set to your username that you had put in there before, which this is wrong. You're going to want to address this as the server where your email is set up. So this will be your Gmail, actually. So we're going to type in Gmail because that's our server. Port is going to be 465. I want to switch that to 465. Username here, this is going to be the original Gmail address that we are setting up. So this is going to be photo Gary K at gmail.com. Okay. Um, you're going to type in your original Gmail. This is the Gmail that we're talking about how this is on your business cards now. Okay. We're going to try to switch that to where you're going to have your custom domain on there. Password. This is the password that we have set here. Copy it and we're going to paste it right into there. And then we're gonna say secured connection using SSL, recommended. Boom, that's that. Now we're gonna go add account. And we can, uh, not now. Now we're going to click on the link in the confirmation email. We're gonna go back over here, go to inbox. And we should have a new Gmail confirmation. You just go right here read down to here and this mail Google link right here click that please confirm sending Gmail as Gary at GaryCastle.com confirm confirmation success and that should be it so now we can go back over here if you go into your settings again back to where we were before accounts and import now send mail as and you'll see here Gary Castle at GaryCastle.com is set up. All right, guys, I think that's about it for me. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. I'm trying to build this, uh, this channel up a little bit, so um, I want to just keep bringing informational stuff to you guys regarding our genre, our business, photography in general, um, whatever it may be that I think might be vital for you and for my viewers. So. Um, I really appreciate all the support. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. And um, just go ahead and click subscribe, click a like, share it, do whatever you want to do. Uh, let anybody know, let your agents know, let anybody know that might need to fix their Gmail address. Give them this video, please. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.